was cheers all round as Nimi Resources launched its initial public offering. It's very exciting. It's been a, a long road to get to this point. The Nickel Explorer raised $6 million ahead of its listing to give it more money to spend on exploring its discovery in Western Australia. An initial public offering, also called a float, is when a privately owned company goes public to raise cash by selling off parts of the business known as shares on a stock exchange. It takes about 12 months of planning and regulatory approvals to get to this day. Despite that, Nimi Resources has just become the 204th company to list on the Australian Stock Exchange in 2021. This is a record year by number of listings since 2007. Uh, it's also a record year in terms of capital raised since 2014. Um, but perhaps most importantly for us, uh, it's an all-time record for a number of companies listing with market caps over $1 billion. Analysts say there's extra cash floating around thanks to government stimulus and record low interest rates. Companies are positioning themselves for future growth, so they're looking to bolster their balance sheets. More than half of this year's IPOs have been resources companies. It was a similar story in 2007 when 251 firms went public. We're actually seeing the biggest recovery uh, in the mining sector uh, in over a decade. Christian Price has been working on Nimi Resources IPO for months. And then building your team with your, with your lead manager, with your legal team and also with your, uh, the board and management to get all that mix right. And especially important is getting your, your geology team uh, right with that right experience uh, in nickel sulphides and discovering nickel sulphides. Among the countless hours of due diligence and paperwork required is the prospectus. It has all the key information about the company's risks, management and financials. Once the paperwork's been lodged with the regulator ASIC and the ASX, it's time to go to market to find those all-important investors. In October, software company ActivePort listed for 20 cents a share, raising $12 million. The main interest for us out of the IPO is growing, growing quickly and growing internationally. The company's share price has fallen back since then, a phenomenon that often occurs once the hype of listing calms down. Sometimes the price never goes back up, like retailer Maya, which listed at $4.10 a share in 2009 and has never traded above that since. It's been as low as 10 cents in 2020. Active Port wants to make sure that doesn't happen to them. What we're finding is the market is now saying, OK, we understand what you're doing. We understand the way you're going to do it. Show us the numbers. If the numbers are good, shareholders reap the benefits. Analysis by global asset manager Janice Henderson shows Australian dividend payments grew four times faster than the rest of the world between July and the end of September. With even more cash floating around, there's more incentives for companies to list. We're very, very optimistic uh, short term. We see nothing that slows the market down. Which could mean the IPO momentum will continue in 2022.